Game's underway. The puck sliding down in. Matthew Huber and Ned Adam Jones are the Coyotes. Say hi to all the parents watching. There's a shot. Doesn't get through. The steam break it up. Long pass trying to get through to Riley Pettit. Had it been there, he might have been home free. Now Malcho steals it right out in front. Rolls right into Jones. Just about. They say it went in the net. No, it did not. Night went on. They'll probably be asking about that one down the line. That puck slid towards the empty net there with a just at about the 30-second mark, and uh, the light went on, but it looked like somebody got a stick there and kept it out, and Brad Jones is right on the spot and waved it off, and we'll see if he's going to go down and check. Jones is right in position, and he didn't point in the net. But they are having a healthy conference over. Now they're going to come down and check. Let's have a look here. This might be the definitive answer. Here we go. Now they're going to go around and check and have an actual talk with the goal judge. Again, it was right into the crease. And it... Uh, a stick got it and brought it out. Now, whether it had crossed the line or not, we can't tell from here. But it was doggone close. It is it is a goal, I believe. Hey, pointing it to it in the net. So there's our opening goal here. We do have a good goal. Down in deep trying to get something going is uh, Seth Creasy. One of the minor hockey players up for his first game playing junior. He's got some fast skating ability. Let's find out. He's on the boards. Puck just went by him. He gets it. He's going to move up on the wing. He's checked, and he's going to draw a penalty. So the steam are going to get a penalty right off the bat, and they're trying to get the check on Seth Creasy. Starting down the left wing, Riley Pettit going into the box. So the Coyotes are going to get an opportunity here to tie the game up. Here's a long pass right up to the line, and Roseboom's got it. He was checked. And then the steam get the puck down the ice. Boy, they're doing a dandy job of this first penalty kill here. Coyotes have not been able to get in and get anything set up, and there's only 30 seconds left to go on the power play. It's kept in. Now behind the net. Center in it. Look out right into the crease. Whoa. That one came out, and it looked like it got caught. He stopped on the skate. Yeah, it did. I'm, I'm wondering. Uh, I'm wondering whose skate it was. As, as soon as, as soon as he came out of the net, I thought, why is the, why is the goalie coming out of the net? And then another player slipped in there, and it hit his skate. And then goalie comes back in, and holy cow, that was yeah. close. Williams ready. There's a shot. Adam Jones kicks that one out, and now back out in the ice. Full strength of the Steve. They're two man advantage. And lots of time to go. A minute 34 to go right now. Steve Havitt plays it back. Malchow passing it back and forth. He gets into the corner. Shot scores! Wow, that came in at, a, at an angle, and Jones missed on that one. And that's a two-man advantage on that one. Looked like that angle shot to made it all the way in by Riley Pettit. And a two-man advantage in the steam up two here. And it comes at two minutes and 13 seconds of the second period. 4.38 left, second period. 2-0. Summerland Steve. Here come the Coyotes, Rapoli, tipping it down into the corner. Good move in there. Start away for the, oh, there's a pass to Pettit. Coming in on the breakaway, Pettit scores! Went stick side, and that one materialized right from their own blue line. Hit Pettit with a breakaway pass to center, and he was gone. Play it back. Trying to get a shot, comes back to this side. Jasky, a shot, and that was a save in there. As Consta Jasky let it go. Down, Dietrich Scammell let it go, and off the pass. Sim beside, there's another shot, scores! Dietrich Scammell coming in and took that pass and scored. And the Summerland Steam will put another power play in and go up four to nothing, and that comes at 18.37. Puck sent down the ice. 
Of course, there's no love lost between these teams at any time. Now we have a penalty coming in on the play. Who's got it this time? Oh, now we're getting at it. Bell has come in hard. And the sticks are getting up. Well, there they go. Rapoli's in it as well. Marking down, let's see who's going on this one. Well, we're, <laughs> he's waving a lot of guys towards the penalty box here. Well, you can almost see that one was going to happen. Just the score and uh, the Coyotes getting kind of taken to the cleaners of their own building. They're starting to <laughs> do a little come back, aren't that's, they? That's kind of how I thought it was going to go, yeah. too. I, I figured, you know, the emotions are going to start getting up there. Yeah. They're going to start getting frustrated and tired, and they're going to have no other avenue but to start, you know. And it did, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's exactly what happened. Rhodes will turn, plays it again. Out to Jackson Glimple, trying to get it through. He cannot. Pucks along the boards and down deep in the Summerland zone. 28 seconds to go in the Coyotes' power play. Loose, there's the shot. Nunwin scores! Hunter Johnson finally gets it started for the Coyotes. And the first time we've had any sort of a Coyote cheer in the building tonight. There comes three minutes and... 42 seconds into over into the third period and still in control in a way although the coyotes are coming on a little more now but they they need pucks on the net and they need them to be avoiding the glove of matthew huber they do right from the face off Rollsburg letting that one go and the coyotes are finding a way to get back into this one that comes at uh, 6.57. Pucks right out in front. Here's a chance. And now it's a three-on-one coming in. And the shot's wide. And the rebound going right in front. And the Coyotes can't get it out. Now they do. Plays it down into the corner. Coyotes, an empty net. Minute 25 to go. Coming right out in front, a shot. Colton Rhodes let it go. It went right through the crease area. Here we go. Last 57.6 ticks. Unless the Coyotes really pull off a couple of goals here. And the draw goes right to the stand. They go to the boards. Try to hold that puck in there. Puck slides loose. It comes back to Steger. Scores! But the game has ended and Summerland is going to win a 4-3 to three hockey game that they really controlled totally. And then the third period came along and the Coyotes found some life, but not quite enough. The third star from the Summerland team, number 14, Jordan Malchow. The second star from the Summerland team, number 6, Ryan Roseburg. And the first star from the Southern Lions team, number 21, Ryan Pettit.